Could you, could you do this for us? Could you go from charming to creepy? I could do that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> he's creepy, he's charming, and he's coming back for round three. This is where I had to be to meet you. Here's what we know about you, season three, so far. In its first two seasons, the underappreciated Lifetime series turned breakout hit on Netflix has taken stalking to the next level. No matter how hard you fight me, I will always make sure you password protect your devices. Last we left the obsessive and obsession-worthy Joe Goldberg, he had met his match in Love Quinn. We're soulmates, Joe. The kind of girl who makes all your problems and exes disappear. After discovering love's true colors at the end of season two, Joe and Bay settle down in the suburbs with a literal love child on the way. But old habits die hard as evidenced by this cliffhanger. See you soon, neighbor. Who that neighbor is has been the topic of fierce debate, with many fans speculating that it would be Joe's mom, until actor Penn Badgley dispelled those rumors in an interview with Bustle. The books on which the show is based might reveal some new clues when Caroline Kepnes' third novel is released, but it's too soon to tell. Plus, the second season really deviated from the sophomore novel. In Hidden Bodies, Love wasn't a murderer and Joe went to jail by the end. Kepnes has said her upcoming book will focus on Joe's burning desire to become a better person, so we'll see how much the latest season on Netflix sticks to that. Actor Penn Badgley thinks it's only a matter of time before Joe pays the price. What does Joe need? Joe needs justice, but what does that mean? Like, yeah. does that mean prison? Does that mean death? I don't know. As of now, the only cast that's been formally announced for season three are these two soulmates. I wolf you. I wolf you too. Ever since the former Gossip Girl star became Joe Goldberg, actor Penn Badgley has gotten good at compartmentalizing. I struggle greatly with the, the, the conflict of playing such a guy and him being partly so likable and people having such a, as we say, thirsty response to him. Actress Victoria Pedretti, who plays Love Quinn, may want to take some cues, as her character appears to be getting darker and darker. As for the rest of season three cast, we can only speculate. Showrunner Sarah Gamble suggested that Jenna Ortega, who played Joe's old neighbor, Ellie Alves, could be back. Remember, Ellie has dirt on the Quinn family, knows the truth about Henderson, and took money from Joe to start a new life. Gamble also teased the idea of bringing back dead characters to haunt the living, saying, quote, the door is wide open for everybody's favorite characters, so maybe we haven't seen the last of Beck, Candace, and Delilah after all. We could very well get a John Stamos sighting in season three, too. After Dr. After Nikki's surprise reappearance at the close of season two, he could be in prime position to make Joe's life hell. God bless you. Co-creators Greg Berlanti and Sarah Gamble will return as executive producers for all 10 episodes of season three. Netflix is famously mum about its release dates, but we do know season three is coming sometime in 2021. Season two dropped the day after Christmas in 2019, which was a delicious Boxing Day treat, but doesn't necessarily mean the streaming service will make you wait to indulge. Have you been naughty or nice? <laughs>